Hello, and welcome back to the final episode of Bi-Weekly Building. It's been a very, very fun series to make. I've learned a lot as a builder, I've learned a lot as a content creator, and yeah, I think it's time that I take all that sort of experience and I apply it to some future projects. So yeah, here is the final sort of last hurrah of bi-weekly building, building a big castle. Um, some of my best videos in this series are castles, some of my best videos on the channel are castles, and I like building castles, so why not? Um, I've got a couple sort of changes that I've made in this video. So I've got new shaders. They're based on the old ones, but slightly tweaked. And there's some flashing going on in the background. I don't know why that's happening. So yeah, I'll try and fix that for future episodes. I hope it's not too distracting, but it's there and I have no idea why. Um, but also, I have I have heard you, um, and uh, for these sort of more time lapse videos, I'll be going back to the older sort of style of video editing. Um, no title cards, just the time lapse, my commentary, and a little bit of music. Um, so I hear you. Uh, and I'm very thankful for all the feedback actually as well. Uh, it's very useful uh, to hear what people actually want, you know? Because um, I'm sort of out here trying to guess what you want. And um, yeah, I, it was really, really good to hear from uh, a few people about sort of what they wanted and things like that. And I, I think I'll probably still continue to develop the idea just sort of in the background and if anything sort of clicks and I go oh, that kind of worked I will try it out but for the this foreseeable future videos like this will remain like this um so yeah uh, I just want to sort of thank everyone for that and to be fair the response on that video was a lot better than I was expecting usually the 1.0 village hasn't done uh, it's sort of as well as the other videos, um, but this one did amazing. Um, this one did really, really, really well. So I want to thank everyone for that because, yeah, I put a lot of time and effort into that entire project, and I think it came up pretty well. So um, yeah, but I've talked for a few minutes about random things onto the castle. Um, so yeah, I I did this castle a little bit differently to how I usually do them. As you can see in the top left, I've got like a wall of my colour palette. It's a bit more organised and you can't quite see it because of the render distance, but I've got signs on everything basically sort of telling me what each sort of line of blocks is for and what it's supposed to represent and things like that. And then all of the outlines have uh, the box that I'll be using in them and that allowed me to basically really really quickly decide what blocks and what sort of combinations of blocks I was using in the buildings really really quickly and it was very very useful it streamlined the process a lot because it, there's quite a lot of castle to get through um, I think it's entire process took me about two hours to just do the shaping um so it's it's quite a chunky castle there's a lot sort of going on especially internally that you can't see which is a little bit annoying but oh well um but uh yeah we've got some uh sort of whitewash um sort of more white walls we've got some uh mud bricks and a sort of more uh brownie uh brick color and then we've also got 
uh, the new tough bricks as well, which I'm using uh, for some walls and also for some bits of the roof uh, later. I, uh, I pop it into the, the roofs and it it just, it works really well. I love that block. Um, I think my only problem with it is it can get a bit much if there's a lot of it in one big chunk. So you sort of got to break it up with other blocks, but it, it works really, really nicely. It's a really good looking block. And yeah, I'm just, I'm loving using the new, the new blocks from uh, 1.21 that they've they've added so far in the, uh, the snapshots and the experimental features it, they're just they're really really good looking blocks and i can't wait to see what else they they put out in this the new update because uh it, it looks like quite a good update so far so uh i'm i'm really excited to see what they they bring out that i can i can use and um sort of experiment with but uh um, but yeah, I, I, I have to say this castle is, I, 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 as far as I'm concerned, it's my best castle that I've built. I like the layout, I like the shapes, the colours, all of it. Um, I like some of the details that I've done. Um, I really like the texturing, which we'll get onto later. And I have also taken on some feedback from the past sort of couple castle videos um someone in the comments of my gothic castle mentioned that the flags on the, the spires made it a little bit chaotic and um i do agree with them um uh, annoyingly i can't remember um their name but uh whoever you are thank you for that uh, feedback because uh, yeah it it got a bit chaotic there was a lot of spires and I think this the lack of flags makes it a lot cleaner and it's a lot uh, more easy to to read the sort of silhouette of the of the building but um, but yeah we've sort of finished most of of the shaping and to be honest the shaping there's not really much to to talk about not very much interesting stuff going on i have chopped the tower at the back there the big tower in half because i didn't like how it originally looked it looked a bit bad so i chopped it off and went back to do it here um i sort of Maybe should have moved my palettes. They're a little bit in the way, but oh well. Uh, you'll you'll get a better view of it later. But uh, it, it's I basically made it a little bit taller and changed up the roof design a tiny bit. And yeah, but this this I have to say this tower was just a pain. I couldn't quite get it to work at like any stage. So um I uh yeah I had to persevere a lot with that that tower so it was a little bit annoying but we move on to the texturing and there are some things I could talk about with this texturing so I found a build on Reddit um and it was a modded build in uh Conquest uh, Reforged which is a brilliant sort of realistic medieval um mod pack and it, it's amazing and it was a recreation of a building in bruges in um belgium and i was like mm, i like that build i reckon i can do that in vanilla minecraft uh without mods so i did that i tried to emulate the way that they'd done the texturing and things like that and i came up with basically this way of texturing where I have a gritty sort of grime along the the base of the building where it connects to the ground where it might get a bit more dirt on it and also along the top and under ledges I've added a little bit of grime dirt to sort of make it look a bit more old and weathered and like it's seen it's had some years on it and it really works for castles uh, and just medieval stuff in general 
and then you sort of just apply a little bit of random texturing to the rest of it and it just it works quite nicely um doing the ruse is a little bit different it's mostly trying to find where like water and rain would collect and run down the side of the roof and where then it would stay in the roof and that's a little bit difficult because you can't simulate rain very well in minecraft so you sort of have to do a bit of educated guessing and it doesn't quite come across very well because at least on some of the roofs the walls don't quite match exactly the shades of the blocks around them so it's a, a bit of a sort of uh, a bit of a guessing game and sort of got to work around the limitations of Minecraft but eh oh well um but now we uh, we unfortunately get on to um the the fact that I I had to uh, I had to chop off like half of this video and my ideas for it because I I completely ran out of time um yeah uni work and go back home for the easter just got in the way of everything with this video so uh, i did plan a little sort of town around the castle which i think would have been quite nice and i planned some fields and uh barns and houses and i i planned like an entire sort of landscape and it was maybe a bit ambitious for one episode um but i uh I, I, I thought I could get it done. Turns out, no, I could not get it done. So, um, yeah, I've learned for next time, maybe don't try and plan uh, an entire project for one episode. But, yeah, oh well. It turned out alright. But I had to sort of cut half of it off, and I was trying to figure out a way that I could make it look sort of okay. And... I, I was going to build custom trees anyway, so why not put the castle in a forest? So I took a couple of the trees from my palette. I got the uh, the beech tree and I created a couple pine trees and I just copy pasted those around. And I think this worked a lot better than uh, the last time I tried to do custom trees because I have just a higher concentration of the trees and there's a couple different types of tree and they're a lot yeah they're a lot more dense and it's a lot harder to tell that it's just the same four trees over and over and over again. Um, I have rotated some of the bigger beech trees but uh, it doesn't really matter because it's still sort of just it looks like a bunch of trees, you know, it just sort of all blends in. But uh, yeah, unfortunate that I couldn't get this entire video idea done, but I do think that it came out quite nicely overall. And I hope you did enjoy uh, this series. Um, uh, yeah, just a quick sort of disclaimer, I will be taking a couple week break um, I'm off for Easter. I've got a little bit of work that I need to do uh, for uni and stuff like that. Um, but I, I also want to properly plan out my next uh, sort of couple series and videos so I can make better videos for, for all of you. But uh, there we go. The village, the castle, not village, uh, is done. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the series. And I will see you in a couple weeks.